Look at my back porch. I can't even walk through here, barely. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. I can't, this is the back of the chair. Stuff stacked and leaned. So, this room is, I think they'll show you our room. Just remember that it was only going to be a storage room and that's what it's been. This is where I shove everything when I don't want to get rid of it yet, but not really um, needing it at the time. It's also where I put the uh, shampooer, stuff like that. So it will eventually be the laundry room. So I've got to paint, I've got to finish trim. Things were never finished, so let me show y'all. So that sink was in that corner. Um, it didn't have its, the other leg is in the sink. But I've unhooked the water from over there. And um, so cause I'm hoping when I get all this, the rest of this stuff cleaned out of here, I'm gonna get this wall painted a completely different color, not black, because this is the exterior of the house. Um, painted another color, maybe this creamy white color, touch up all the paint that needs to be touched up in here from things being nicked and hit against it. Finish out the trim that goes around. The whole point of this trim, like right here, was for no reason except for that I was supposed to continue it around there because there's, um, a lip there. I don't know how to show y'all, but there's, see my fingernail? It, there's a lip here from this, which is paneling to the sheetrock that went on top. So I was just gonna use paneling. And so this is paneling and, and wallpaper. I didn't even do it fancy because it was in a room you didn't see, but I wanted it to be brighter than it. Anyway, so I need to finish cleaning up this, taking all this out, and um, these are the, well, not this one, because I don't think it's ever been painted. These were lightly painted white, those old popcorn tins. That's what I use to make the second layer, and I wrap it in that fake snow, and then I lay the board across the top, the one by 12, from one end to the other of the buffet. And then that makes, those are like the mountains. I do it in a way that it looks like it's a mountainside. Anyway, I've got to clean all this out, get the rest of it cleaned out, mop this floor. I've just ordered 15 trim boards for this room to finish. I mean, look up there. It was, it's even sagged a little right there because it did, never got finished. And there's an opening up there where the, this is the roof the underneath of the roof. And if you can see up there, cause this was never supposed to be a room, even though I, I did put a window in it and trimmed it out. I wanted it to always look nice. If the laundry room door, which was originally, this was the back door of the house. Look, it never even got trimmed out. This was the back door of the house. It's right here now, it's right here with this little window. I moved it and built when we, when I walled this in back here, I did it to the exact measurements of this old, of this original door. So um, this still locks and shuts. So nobody can come on my back porch, then get into this room and then get into that room. That door is locked on the inside. This door locks here. This will become the laundry room. I want the washer and dryer in that back corner on that back wall. And so I had to bring that out. Um, I don't think, I guess I'll end up keeping this. I sort of want to, but I don't have, I don't want to line up this wall with a sink and a washer and a dryer all covering the window. So I guess I'm just gonna get rid of the utility sink. Maybe put it out on the back porch later. Um, you know, on the, on the, in the outdoor kitchen off over here somewhere, maybe in a corner and hook it all up. But what's good about this being the laundry room makes it fairly easy is I've got hot and cold already coming in down there for, um, that were hooked to this. 
and there's already a drain for this although that won't be the drain used for the washer because you know it has to has the hose that goes up and comes back down so this is something that i've been working on right now just getting everything out of this room and gutted so i can pick up my trim boards in the morning stain them uh touch up any paint that needs to be touched up in here put the trim boards up so this becomes an almost readily finished room i'm gonna put carpet on the floor i know that's not normal for um a laundry room i have a piece of linoleum that will go this whole floor and cover up this old linoleum but i'm a as much as I love my laminate floors in there, I loved just the simplicity of taking my vacuum, vacuuming, and going out of the room. So the rug that I have, it's just a five by seven. This room is just a little tad wider than five, and it's almost 10. So think about what that does for me perfectly. It starts, now don't, this is like, like I said, so this was pieces of linoleum it was actually glued down, but through the years it's come unloose and it just it just needs to be cleaned up. But um the rug will start right here at the frame of the door and go that way into the room. And it's gonna stop this side short of hitting where the washer, you know, the washers are, you know, twenty four to twenty six inches wide. So it's literally gonna be like almost to the washer and dryer if not just barely underneath them where their feet probably won't even sit on a rug. But that leaves that area back there slightly waterproofed. And then all this out here, making it where I can just, you know, come through. Now that will, that room, the original laundry room will eventually be the half bath. It'll just have a toilet and a sink. Um, and when then all that, when that gets when the laundry room gets moved here, then I can focus on that room in there, but one's gotta get done before the other one gets done. And I'm not trying to finish this laundry room and move that stuff out here before I even leave on my trip. My plan is just to get this room ready so when I get back from my trip, I can call somebody to give me power on that back wall. And also when they're here giving me, I have one breaker space in my um, breaker box that'll, you know, allow me to have uh, one more outlet. When I get them to run me an outlet here from the breaker box, and then all they'll have to do inside is unhook the dryer wire and pull it out from the floor and underneath the house and bring it back in over here somewhere. And, um, well, it'll be on this side because I have water here, so this would be the best side for the dryer. Um, and then uh, hook it all back up. And then I'll drag the washer and dryer in here. Get maybe one of the boys to help me or maybe just do it myself. I tend to do a whole lot by myself. You guys know that. But anyway, get them in here. And then once the washer and dryer is in here, then I can really see how much room I've got for anything else. Like a storage. Like I was thinking of some kind of a storage cabinet right here on this wall to hold all my quilts. My quilts right now are in Levi's closet. Um, and I have to sort of open one of his, it's in the corner of his closet. So then I have to sort of finagle myself into the corner of his room between a cabinet and the closet door and then pull all my quilts out. So I was just thinking either this wall can handle a cabinet or this wall can handle a cabinet that'll have, you know, big doors on them and I can just stack my quilts. I'm a, I tend to try to, I've done down with a lot of quilts, but I tend to collect quilts. If it looks pretty to me, I'm thinking, oh, I love that on my bed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that. And, and so um, anyway, this is what I'm doing today. It's not a big deal. It's not a, it's not, um, it's not a, like a, exciting video but it's exciting to me to get it cleaned out although oh my gosh i think a lot of this will end up in the back of my vehicle going to goodwill uh the rug that i plan to use is right there and there's the tall piece of linoleum right there if i wanted to put linoleum back down in here i could because i have a piece big enough it's probably it's even bigger than what i would need 
but the rug is right there. And I have several little rugs all rolled up right there. But, um, and then I've got all kinds of, like I built that little cabinet where that pumpkin is. That cabinet over there, kept my grandpa, daddy's daddy, built that for Debbie. I've had it here ever since the flood when she just left everything in her house and walked away. I'm thinking, well, that's solid wood. I'll take that to my house and use it for something. And it's, it's built, I know it's dark and you can't really see it, but it's siding, it's exterior siding, uh, like the 105 or the lapping, what do they call it? lap and gap or whatever they call it. I don't know. Anyway, it's like 105 siding. Uh, so it could, I was just thinking about putting it out on the porch and setting a plan on it. Anyway, I, I got a little bit more work to do and I'm going to pick up the trim in the morning um, from Home Depot. I just ordered it online, so I'm hoping that in the morning I'll just drive up there and they'll sit out there and I won't even have to go in. Um, I think I already, I have stain. I have stain down there. I have a, I think I have a can of stain and the, several cans of stain out in the, in the workshop. So I'll just stain it all this dark color. And I think I already have a creamy white. It's called country white. That's what I use in any of the rooms that are painted with any kind of a white. Even my kitchen on my uppers that were original, that are white. And the backsplash in there, and I know I'm looking through the screen door. The back of the cabinets there, all that is a creamy white. It's, I mean, it's called country white. So, uh, anyway, a little bit of work to do in here, but not a whole lot. But, you know, I've got to stain some trim and let it dry, then put it up. And um, cover up that gap up there, fill it in with probably a 1 by 6 or 1 by 8 that I can shove up all the way to the ceiling up to the roof up there and screw it in down the bottom so nothing i mean that's air gonna get out up there plus that is gonna allow something to crawl in um there wasn't too many spider webs there's a few spider webs but not that many um because it is sort of interior-ish you know it's it just was never finished because it was drywalled up just enough that I it would not look so bad if that door was open and I just used it for storage but these sorry I hit hit a button these floors were pieces of linoleum left over from other room uh, like the bathroom and stuff and I just used the uh, contact cement spread it out and rolled it out and over the years we're looking at 12 years no, we're not looking at 12 years. Dear my, that was 2013 to now. Nine years. Nine years of walking on it, spilling on it, cat litter on it, cat accidents on it. Because usually my cat box is in here. Right now my cat box is in the laundry room right there in that corner. Where that little, the sink, that's the little cat door that could come into the laundry room. But this room was so full of stuff. I couldn't, I was like, I, I I can't even hardly get in there to get a cat box. So, anyway, I'm gonna clean it all up. I'm gonna give it a paint job. I'm gonna put up the trim, get the trim all up so it cleans it up, and then get ready for moving the washer and dryer in here when I get back from my trip. So it's, it's exciting to me, maybe not to y'all, and this may be the most boring video. I'm also gonna go out and show y'all the, the feed room. Um, because I'm going to get, uh, well, I'll show y'all that in a minute. All right, see you in a second. Well, it's a new day. I couldn't make myself get up and get gone this morning. You know what? If you sit too long, you just don't want to leave. And I didn't sleep real, real well last night with my, um, <laughs> I know this sounds weird. It's going to sound so weird saying it. But it was my back. Everybody knows that. Then I did the video where the chiropractor said, you know, my hip. It doesn't even seem like it's my hip now. It seems like I'm more like my, just my upper thigh. But that muscle right there on the side of your thigh. Um, it's just like, is that what's going to happen? It's going to slowly just go down into my toes and, and then out of my body? I don't know. But I did 
lay this rug down last night to see how much it was going to cover. It's actually covered more than I was expecting. So, um, I laid a piece of a one by four there to see when I put trim after I paint and put the trim and the rug literally lays right in between the trim. So it's going to turn out really good. It's a little bit fancier rug than people would want for a laundry room, but it's the one I already have. I've already bought it. I don't have to spend money on it. It's, it's, it's already here. So, um, I'm going to go, I'm still walking amongst just stuff stacked everywhere. And like I said, in my video yesterday, and I'll be, be putting these two videos together, but at some point, oh my glasses, at some point, I will take most of this and just go ahead and go to Goodwill with it. Um, if it can still be used, but actually can be used and not stored, then I'll use it. Like I said, that one table I'll bring out here maybe and stack plants on it. Um, I got all my ferns over here, getting a little bit of too much sun. I know the tree is still, you know, it looks fully in bloom. But we've lost so many leaves already. I'm drinking Kool-Aid. The, uh, we've lost so many leaves already that the sun is shining through too much on the ferns. Ferns do not like direct sun. They like indirect light. So they like it lit up, but they don't want the sun beating on them. And so I took them down... Um, I guess Monday and, uh, and watered them. They didn't really need water, but I went ahead and watered them and then I just left them down. So I'm going to have to find places to make them look neat and pretty, but not, and I hate it because I love things hanging. I love them hanging, but, uh, it's just too much, too much sun on them right now. So, uh, and it hadn't quite got cool. Enough. Well, you know, the sun is the sun is the sun. If you sit in it, please hope that cat is not eating a squirrel. I have to fight. And I know everybody's going to have an opinion. The same way they had the opinion the other day with Minky. Um... I think Minky's problem is she's just too puppy. People say, well, she can't learn anything on a cable. Well, take her off the cable, then she's going to be in the road dead, and she's never going to learn anything that way. So, um, and I don't know what her problem is where if she gets out of the yard, she goes straight to the, um, straight to the street. I, I don't get it. When everything basically is happening in the back of the house, nothing's going on up there on that road, but that's where she heads, straight to the road. But uh, these cats, um, I can't stand it when I see them chasing the squirrels. I know that's a, that's a cat thing. I'm, it's not like I was, guys, I'm fixing to be 55 years old, I'm fully aware of what cats will do and what they like to chase and this, that, and the other, and the nature of cats. But I love to see my squirrels hopping from tree to tree, and it just tears me, it burns me up inside when um, I find one, like just the tail left or one of them running with one in its mouth. And I, I try to throw sticks at it, make it let it go. Because I love the squirrels here. I don't want to see them disappear slowly because of these, these stray cats. And on top of that, they're not really hungry. They're out for the kill, not for the meal. Because they eat. You know, these cats aren't going hungry. When you lay, see them stretched out after a meal, you know daggum well they just ate. They're eating good. So, that's just irritating. Um, I haven't picked up anything out here. I haven't taken my tablecloths off the bench from Sunday. I haven't done anything. I'm fixing to get this video out to y'all, but I am going to walk out and show y'all what I got done out there 
at the, the goat house in the feed room. Um, the last video uh, that I did about the feed room was when I was painting it. And um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and walk on out there. Get some, get my leg to moving. I've done things in the house this morning. I took that uh, inversion table pulled it together and locked it back in place and laid it out on the front porch. So, um, oh, gone. Oh, that's got ants on it. Uh, so Buddy can come over and get it. I told Steph she was welcome if they didn't have a place really, because she said they didn't really care to have it back. She tried to sell it, but it wouldn't sell on Marketplace. She said she didn't, but uh, she said she really didn't care to have it back. Look, my junk's still laying out there. That's how I know y'all think I stay busy all the time. There's times I just get lazy. So I've got wire and my pan from when I was rolling the paint on. Everything's still laying right here. It's all going to the dumpster besides the metal paint pan. The white one is a liner. You're not eating again. You've already ate this morning. Yeah, look at it. I'll still lay in there. Pick it all up in a little bit. I think I'm supposed to have, um... Oh, what I was saying was they didn't want... She didn't need it anymore. And she tried to sell it. It didn't sell. And so she brought it to me. It had been in storage. I guess she said she had it just shoved up somewhere. And she said she didn't, you know, when I said I don't really need it. She's like, well, I don't really need it either. Like, I'm supposed to keep it. And I said, look, just we'll take it to the camper. Stick, stick it in there for right now. She said, buddy, you'll come get it. So I put it on the porch. All right. So I got the inside, um, not the inside in here, but this part that you see if you're out painted and all this is the this side of the and this would you move please mister move the red finally wore off his face move I, move move so I got this side painted let me back up can y'all see I was doing pretty good and I let Laura paint and she sprayed it all up here. I was turning it this way and this way. It itch, uh, keep it at an angle all the way down to get this side of the, the lattice, you know? And I know there's a little bit over spray, but man, when I gave her that sprayer, she hit it hard right there and right up there too. Anyway, I got this whole side done. All the front's done. You can see there where that little knob, I keep that board there and I flip it back and forth. I didn't get that little section. And then I got it all over here done. I put one of the lights up um, yesterday and I'm eventually gonna paint the chicken house red too, but I am out of paint. There was just a little bit left in that can and I'll paint the chicken house red also. But I put a light up on the back of, where's my finger at? Right there. Uh, put a light up on the back of it too. And then y'all seen the back of the house, the barn feed room was already done. Hi oh, baby. So I think I'm gonna have some type of something painted here. I was thinking about a really pretty sunflower, maybe some grass shooting up and a couple of sunflowers. Wouldn't that be pretty? I don't know why I'm really in the sunflower thing, but I think that'd be really country and really cute out here on the side of that red barn. I think so. Um, just got to get everything together to do it. And then I was thinking about having something up there. Maybe one of these days I'll have the Catching Up With Kim logo made. Because it's that yellow, that, you know, sort of honey yellow color. And that would be really cool right there on the center. Anyway, baby, with your little stick. With your little stick. I was out here last night feeding up. You know, it's dark. Once you get out from underneath those solar, those, I sort of say solar lights. Those didn't light up last night because I just put them up in the middle 
um, toward the evening. And so they didn't come on last night. But these that are here, the, they're the electric ones, you know, they only do a section, like right in this area and then over toward that gate. That was what I wanted them for, so I could look out and see them. And, you know, but there's one of those little motion sensor camera things over there, lights, those lights with the sirens and the guns and the dogs barking. And I was, it was dark out here. I mean, it's pitch black out here. And all of a sudden it started Is that a turtle? <laughs> um, it started uh, going off. And you know, I'm looking over here and it's dark. I can't see anything. And then I was, I hollered. I said, get out of here. I didn't know what it was. You know, I'm just hollering. So I screamed, like, get out of here. To whatever it might be. And within a few, not minutes, but just like a minute or less, uh, one of the cats. Ooh, something in that fire just popped and it's got a fire going over there. Look at this. This is where it chased down that guinea. These are guinea feathers. I'll sit down over here for a minute. Yeah, so it does every, all the naysayers that said they were up too high they're not up too high i followed the directions on the height dad gum what did he burn y'all hear that that's not gunfire that's something popping in that trash he needs to get his car away from there for something blows out and hits his car God. these are the kind of things that when y'all say let bennett stay in your house <laughs> while well, you're gone, and I'm thinking, uh, no. Because he has a big old fire going over there, and whatever he burned is popping. Oh, my word. Anyway, that was, it was cute that, uh, she was coming out of that field. And, um, and it picked her, it picked up her, and she's tiny, little tiny gray thing. Um, Brie called me earlier, wants me to come down there and see a project that she just finished. She's all excited. What she told me on the phone, I told her I was proud of her for doing it herself. But, you know, she has a husband. I think women, this is my opinion, this is my opinion, I think we should all strive to do things on our own without the man. If we can, even if we have one. But there are some times when I see things, and this is like just what I see, I think, um, you have a husband. Get him off the game and tell him to come out and do this, that, and the other. I just feel like sometimes these men, they're just too, too wrapped up in their... I'm not saying Bree's husband particularly. I'm just saying any husband. There's these men. I, I think to a degree, some of us women are so independent that the guys forget that they're supposed to be our protector and take care of us. And I still think men should take care of their... I, you know, I do a whole lot of stuff by myself. Y'all know that. But I still think men should take care of their women. The husbands should take care of their wives. The boyfriends should take care of their girlfriends. I still think men should open doors and, and uh, you know, things like that. I believe in that kind of stuff. That's maybe old-fashioned, but I believe in that. But um, I do think that we all, all of us women need to do some things. You know, I bought <laughs> poor mom. Mom, when I was a girl, she would go out and she would mow, push mow. I mean, there wasn't riding mon mowers. That wasn't a popular thing back then when I was a kid. I mean, I'm sure, I guess, some people maybe had them. Um, everybody I knew only had a 
Jensen. Jensen. What did you get? Something bite you? He didn't yell, but he sure started swinging his head. Did you get bite or bite? Did you get a bite? Did you get a bite? He was over there by that water. I hope a snake didn't like him. Anyway, um, he didn't yelp. Maybe a turtle bit him. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, you know, we she push mode, and she would have you know this is yard work day, you know, and she'd be push mowing, and we had to pull the grass around the trees. We had to. She was real particular. Maybe it was a California thing. I don't know. Maybe it, I didn't. Honestly, none of my friends. All the friends that I had in elementary school, and as I got up into junior high, none of them had this big ring around their trees with no no grass. And we didn't have Roundup back then. You didn't have weed eaters back then. We had to sit there and pull grass like you would do in a, in a, in a garden when you're weeding your garden. And we kept this, you know, like no grass around the trees, like this perfect, you know, she might get it started, but we kept it that way. And she would mow and we would do that. And, um, I mean, mom was a, that kind of stuff she loved to do. She loved to be outside, you know, she'd mow, then we'd she'd jump in the pool, she'd lay in her float. Um, she got old but there were also things that she didn't do like if a gate falls off the hinges here i've got to go out and put the gate back on the hinges i've got to fix something i got to go buy a hinge i got to do something if the gate fell off the hinges down there well you know that's daddy's job and <laughs> just it's it still some things are like that today if she needs, she gets a new, you know, somebody sends a gift, you know, and it's a picture to hang on the wall. You know, she's got the one somebody sent a while back, said uh, Gigi's daycare or something like that. Things like that she'll get, or even things she just gets on her own. And um, Jensen, you just was down there and something got your face. Jensen, get up here. got a new name tag and it's big as him hanging under his neck y'all see it Jensen see it's, it says Jensen on it it's so big I ordered the small and it was so big anyway I got her a drill because she's constantly saying I've asked your daddy to hang this up and he keeps forgetting her when he comes in I'll say and he goes oh I forgot to bring my drill from the barn so one day I was at Walmart and I thought, you know what? No more. She could put a screw in the wall. So I got her a drill. And so far, I think she's, she says, I keep my drill charged whenever I need it. <laughs> Jensen, I love your name tag. It's so big. It's so big because you're, you're a big boy. Yes, you are. All right, guys. I guess I'm going to. Go ahead and cut this off. I've kept y'all for 19 minutes. Talking about nothing but barns and dogs and goats. So I thought before I close this <clears throat> that I would address something. Um, recently in the last few days a couple days um well and there were some naked some negative comments on several of my videos in the past especially on the gift and goodie ones some of y'all are gonna know where i'm headed and i'm not gonna say any names but um yesterday i made a comment to somebody on one of Bree's videos that that she had said some really hateful things. Later, I was gonna message Bree and say, you know, check some of your check your comments for this certain person. But I noticed, I don't know, I got sidetracked, and I noticed later that Bree had addressed this this person, and I I was real proud of her 
for addressing her. And I guess at some point she blocked her. I went and looked. Um, when you go into your page, when you're a creator or page creator, there's a, a, a place where you can search out a name and it'll bring up every comment that that person has made. And you can read just individual comments off of all the videos this person has ever made comments on. She's never made a comment on my page because I would have blocked her. If she was there, I, to the, this, is, this is the degree it was, that if every comment she had made on my page was a sweet comment, I still was planning to block her because she was horrible on Bree's page. Not toward Bree, but toward another um, follower of our pages. And uh, I may even later check with Dad and see if she's made comments on any of his that he hasn't paid attention to or, no, or not paid attention to, but hasn't noticed. Um, a lot of times, truthfully, when a video comes out, I try to get on that morning and I started, and some of y'all may have even noticed that, that if the video comes out at seven or it comes out at eight, within a few minutes, I'll get on and I start reading the first, usually it's, you know, 15, 20, 35, you know, comments. And I try to answer really right there, um, let them know that I've seen their comment. Um, if it was just a generic comment or if it was more personal, I try to reply back. But, um, as days go by and we've made other videos, other videos have come out. We don't maybe can't always go back to that same video. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I try thinking, well, that video is only two days old. I'm going to go back and see if there's any new comments and try to answer. So y'all may notice that sometimes you see where I answered some and then you know, 35 hours later, I've answered some more. And then there were some in between that didn't get acknowledged. And I hate that. But, you know, we have lives that we're also leading besides the video lives. And we want to be able to comment on everybody's comments. We want to be able to acknowledge them. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. But this particular person was so mean-hearted, so, I don't know if, the, oh, that's just my curl sticking out, um, so hard-hearted and said some really mean things um, about another person that follows the page. I'm gonna have to move my arm, and I didn't, sorry. Oh, sorry to the people that are gonna be upset that I didn't bring my tripod out. Um, but, uh, yeah, she was very, very hard. And I'm going to say this, that sometimes hard things happen to us in our lives. And if they're not handled well, or if you didn't have a good support system, if you didn't have, um, I, I don't know what words I'm looking for, but maybe you turn hard because of these hard things, you know? It's just like when you grow up in a rough neighborhood, you become rough, you know? Um, or if you're babied a lot when you're young and, and then you sort of become soft. I don't know. I'm just saying that I think this person, right or wrong, regardless of the things that she said, I think she's probably had a rough life. Some hard things happened to her in her life. And now it carries over into her life and she's mean hearted now she said some mean things and I just think that you know we we put our pages out there and the videos out there for you guys sometimes we think this is the most boring thing ever but if you love it I'm happy that you love it Bree's happy that you love it dad's happy that you love it um but when you're making comments, just try to remember that just to keep them sweet, to let your light shine. Everybody has a light. Sometimes it's been dimmed by something. Just hit me in the heat. But let it shine. Let love come out of you instead of hate. 
take those bad things and turn them into good, I know for a fact bad things have happened in my life, horrible things have happened in my life in the past that I don't talk about. But I know that with Jesus, he's seen me through them. I don't even think about them no more. I try to, you know, I just don't think about it anymore. My life went on. I've got three boys. I have my little farm. I have my church family. I have my family. You don't, you know, I just made sure that I didn't um, live in that moment, that I got past that moment. God brought me through that moment. So, you know, this, this lady probably doesn't have a relationship with Jesus. And I'm going to pray for her, even though I said I would have blocked her if she was on my page. And I know Bree blocked her. She still needs prayer. She She's a hard person. She's a mean-hearted person. And I just think that when you come to the page and you watch a video and you want to make a comment, make a sweet comment. And if somebody made a comment above you or below you and you're, you're one of the kind of people that like to read comments, read them. But don't decide that you don't agree with one of those comments so you put meanness out there toward that person. Everybody is an entitled to an opinion. You, we don't, that's what makes this world go around. We're all different. So just love one another. One, <clears throat> love one another. Treat each other with love and respect and kindness. And so many good things come out of that. And so, um, I'm sweating. Um, just let your light shine. You got it. Let it shine. All right, guys. I love y'all. See you later.